click on the browse I can double click the application folder and it's gonna bring me this my agreement file I can double click this it's right here okay and uh, what I can do now is uh, I can save this I can click on the build solution it's gonna make sure that there are no errors then I can go and build my setup uh, uh, project so what is gonna do is that is gonna build see it shows here where it's gonna build the the uh, the file it is uh, creating MSI file that is Windows installer okay it is gonna is going is uh, packaging and doing uh, lots of other things that are going on in the background so it has been succeeded now I'm just gonna click on uh, close button here and before actually uh, going to the uh, say uh, you know before actually going to the uh, uh, set a file what I can do is that I can just test my project and make sure that it is working fine the way I wanted it to okay this is how it's gonna look like I can click on next and this is my license agreement that I just typed I can click on agree and I can proceed further thank you very much okay uh, in my next video I'm gonna show you how you can deploy it in your application form so the, uh, the MSI is has been created and uh, you can always test it by going to the project menu and click on the install button and then uh, as I showed you this is how it's gonna look like now now let me just tell you one more thing when you're creating a setup file it should always be in the release mode okay it should always be in the release mode so you can go to the build menu you can select the configuration manager and from here you can select the release and then what it's gonna do is that it's gonna create all the set of files the exe and msi file in the uh, in the release folder of your application okay so what i'm gonna do now is uh, rebuild it again and then uh, as you can see here it created that msi in that it created that uh, setup file in the release folder of that okay the build was succeeded now this is our application folder I go to the release and there you go this is uh, the exe file I can double click on that and it will start it will start the uh, the wizard there you go I can click on agree and I can proceed with the registration it's gonna ask me where I need to install my uh, files I can click on next and I can proceed further with that okay this is just a small demonstration and one more thing uh, you know you can always give a name for your uh, for your uh, for your set of file for example uh, you can give it a name any name that you want you can you can uh, give it a description that you want okay uh, you can have your URL here and this is the product code of your of your form of your application this is the product name and this product name is gonna be the name that uh, you're gonna find it in your program folder for example if you give it a name as uh, my first uh, application or my first setup is gonna be there in the C in the C drive and the programs folder this is where that name is gonna show up okay these are all the things the title of your application the support URL I mean there are lots of things that you can uh, look into and there are lots of options and there there are lots of things that uh, you know you can uh, dig into and you can take a peek into that alright so uh, thank you for watching this video and in my next video I'm gonna show you more things so uh, see you in that video thank you very much for watching this